So the week after April Fool's is always a tremendous pain in the ass for me because everyone sees the April Fool's stories and sends them to me for what the fuck is wrong with you. Yeah. And I have to be like, here's the problem. Some of them aren't real. Some of them are. We have are. fucking journalistic ethics around here. But some of them are. And the trouble is, on April Fool's, it's next to impossible, unless you do some fucking Googling and some work, at first glance, to tell what's real, what ain't. Snopes. Snopes is your friend. Fortunately, or rather, no, this is unfortunately. The stuff we're using tonight is very much real. And this, I, I was expecting an April Fool's fallout. The stories you're about to hear are real. But instead, instead, god damn, I wish they weren't. Because we got a, we got an Easter fallout. We got to do the intro. I know. Let me get it up here. Okay, I thought you forgot. I do sometimes. Your video keeps freezing on me, but I mean... Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And like I said, I wasn't expecting something to, to happen on Easter. You know, I guess I'm a little naive. Hey, you know, neither were the Jews, but Jesus came back anyway. <laughs> Boom. Just blew your mind. Yes, on Easter Sunday, they all, they gathered together and they rolled away the stone and Jesus emerged and saw his shadow and it was six more weeks of winter. I'm pretty sure. No, that up. meant it was spring. But they didn't know it was Easter Sunday because there was no such thing as Easter Sunday then. It was just. And that's why we Sunday. have chocolate. Well, this guy celebrated the return of Christ in the most... People are offended by that joke? How are you offended by that joke? Because, yes. I'm this, just... this is from the... I'm not being anti-Semitic, okay? You're just being, you know, nothing is sacred. Especially not here. That wasn't even an offensive joke. They didn't expect Jesus to rise from the dead. I don't really see how that's... Whatever. You're all way too fragile. This comes to us from the UK. Naked man with cricket bat chased shoppers around Toys R Us. Do you know one of my friends actually posted it to Facebook and I was like, you know what? I bet I'm going to be talking about this later. A woman has been taken to hospital. She's okay. After a naked man swing a cricket bat began chasing shoppers around at Toys R Us. Police confirmed the man has been detained in connection with a disturbance at the Kingway West, Kingsway West Retail Park, say that five times fast, but has not been charged. It is understood that around 20 people had to pin the man down using a trolley after he entered the shop and stripped off. Further parts about th this was he crashed his car first. I ch I looked in like seven different copies of the story just to be sure. He crashed his car first, got out, began stripping, and naked running around Toys R Us with a cricket bat chasing people and ranting and raving. Now... In a foreign language. They couldn't even bother. Well, I guess I guess he could have been speaking a foreign language and no one really bothered to check. Or he could have just been gibbering nonsense that came to him. He could have just been in a, a cockney. <laughs> hey, what is he up in the table? Yes, you have him in the yeah. He could have just been one of the travelers from Snatch. He could have been like from Hot Fuzz. Right. Yes, no, no. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yes, I suppose. 
Um, <laughs> and then he killed Rob Stark. <laughs> Same guy. Um, emergency services were called. Ambulance had to be taken take the woman away. He was swinging the bat and tried to get at folk and an older lady. There must have been 20 of the folks who jumped him and took him down. He was still struggling. We had to put trolleys on top of him to keep him there. Already you're naked. Now you have 20 strangers on top of you and then just to keep you from moving around, they have to put the shopping carts on you. And here's the thing. Shopping carts are covered with Germs. The wheel. You don't touch a shopping cart wheel. No. Just, it's sort of like, you know, you touch it. People's kids puke and drool and snot on them. Everybody in the world touch. Shopping carts are one of the most disgusting things in the world. You don't want them near your junk. Well, you like, say that. He's going to get tetanus of the dick. <laughs> you need a tetanus shot in your dick. So. <laughs> Wait, wait. Tetanus, which is lockjaw of the dick. But tetanus is because is when you get cut with rusty or contaminated yeah. metal. I'm just thinking I've had many tetanus shots in my time. I'm just thinking how lockjaw of the dick works. Well, have you ever watched a Viagra commercial? <laughs> I saw the one for Cialis where the guys were were doing that country music and it made me sad. Dude, those commercials are so weird. Just like a, they just don't know how to ag advertise that product at all. It's a bunch of older guys who are just happy as hell to tell the world their dicks don't work. Yeah. Um Man well, is that was a tangent. Man is also alleged to have chased one woman and a child into the shop toilets before kicking toilet doors and chasing them down the aisles. Imagine this. Your mom is taking you to Toys R Us Easter Sunday morning. Toy store! Toy store! You get to pick out any toy you want. It's Easter. You get a nice little present for Easter. Oh, it's wonderful. Suddenly, there's a naked man with a, with a cricket bat. That said, when did kids start getting toys for Easter? I did. I got one. When did Easter become like, like Christmas take two? I got one. I got one candy. Go on your way. At every Easter, I got one little toy, like one, like one of those little transformers that was in the bubble package. I got one in my Easter basket. We get toys. We got fucking candy. Well, I think it was because in my case, they wanted me to stop eating the candy because I was huge. Oh, well, fair enough. And I, I guess they hoped I wouldn't eat the transformer. Little did they know. <laughs> Just how does this happen? How do you wind up like? I mean, maybe he was so moved by the Easter Mass, like maybe this is the extreme version of speaking in tongues. Or I'm thinking at the end of that Twilight episode, it's a cookbook. Only he finally realized, wait a minute, Easter was appropriated from the pagans. That's why there's bunnies and chicks. That's what you need to know. He just, he lost it. He had to get the truth out. I mean, he kind of was speaking in tongues, apparently. So maybe he was just so moved by the spirit of Jesus that he had to go run around naked with a cricket bat. And... I, I don't think Jesus would, I, I, I even think Jesus on that one is going, what are you doing down there? Hey, Peter, when this guy gets here, no. No, we're full. Tell him to wait. Somebody comes out, but you put him behind the velvet line, we're full. Okay? I'm not saying he's going to hell. I'm just saying we're full. Speaking of someone Maybe who... Jesus told him to do that. <sighs> Jesus needs to stop telling people to do shit these days. Because he's like, I mean, really, do you ever wonder if we're just like reality TV? <laughs> To whichever deity is running the universe or deities. I, I like, have long said we are what happens when God's cable goes out. Yeah, like, are we just their entertainment? Speaking of going to hell. That probably wouldn't be Buddha, because Buddha wouldn't do that, because that would be bad karma. Yeah. Now, I understand when you 
some for some people, when you have an opportunity to have sex, you take it immediately. But sometimes you need to have a little, a little tiny bit of restraint. Thug trying to have sex in ambulance, punched paramedic, preparing to take 92-year-old to hospital. He's fine, by the way. Trying to have sex with who in the ambulance? With the 92-year-old? A teenager reportedly, repeatedly punched a paramedic after the crew caught him trying to have sex with a girl in the back of an ambulance and was preparing to take a poorly 92-year-old man to the hospital. The shocked ambulance crew told him to get out because they needed to get the pensioner to hospital, but he callously and brazenly replied, quote, What's your problem? We're just trying to have sex. Wow. Children, this is the oppor this is a good opportunity to talk about priorities. <laughs> Getting your dick wet is less important than saving somebody's life. It just is. I'm sorry. I know that getting your dick wet seems like the most important thing in the world. It's not, though. It's not. This... I know that's probably blowing your mind right now, but not actually that important. The teen went on to punch a paramedic three times in the face. While the pensioner was being carried to the vehicle, Kyle Hargreaves, 18, admitted assaulting paramedic Michael Newman and breaching his antisocial behavior order. Oh, do you, we don't have those here. You know about ASPOs, right? No. Antisocial behavior order. They, they call them ASPOs. Um, they're a sanction that teens get. And they get like this, this mark on their record. They're called as they're hoodies. It's against the law to be a dick over there. Well, it's it's not cons yeah the it's it yeah it's kind of illegal to be a dick. Wow. So if Sherlock were realistic, well, he'd he's be in jail. He's an adult. It's 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 a, it's a youth offender kind of thing. Oh, it's okay thing. for adults to be dicks. Yes, because not, you know, well, and that just the way of the world. Because, you know, if, if if adults weren't dicks, then, you know, what would happen to capitalism? True. Um, He was found lying on a stretcher with a girl on top of him. They were kissing each other and seemed to have been drinking, but were not actually having sex, although it seemed that would have happened next. Paramedic asked them what they were doing and told them to get out of the ambulance because the crew needed to take the pensioner to the hospital, which would seem kind of obvious... You're in an ambulance. Why are you fucking in an ambulance? What, what are you doing so incorrectly that the most expedient and best place for you to have sex is in the big box with the flashing lights and the siren on it? It's not about expedience. Do you have electroshock panels at home? <laughs> No, I do not. Exactly. So you go where the party is. Honey, I'm feeling amorous. The electroshock's not working. It's fine, ambulance. Call 911, honey. I'm in the mood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just, it, what, what pisses me off about this little fucker is that you just, the indignance do of. Do I keep a defibrillator in my bedroom? None of your business. What what I hate about this little fucker is just, just the indignance of the son of a bitch. He's like, what's your problem where I try to have sex? You little shit. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake. Dude, fuck you. Do you understand? You don't own it. It's not yours. It's not where you... What is... What the fuck, dude? <sighs> We've got more dickheads. We always have more dickheads. Dickheads Dick, is our bread and butter. Dickheads are plenty. This one comes from South Carolina. Kind of glad I left. Kind of glad I left. Um, we've been having a recent, a bunch of recent bouts in the news recently about 
college kids and their flagrant and unapologetic racism. Yeah. Well, until they get caught. They say everything old is new again. Unfortunately, blatant, unapologetic racism is what? on that list. Well, until they get caught, then they are so apologetic. Although they're not really sure why. But they're why. only sorry they got caught. And they didn't mean it that way anyway. Yeah. Why can't we say that word? Um. Well... South Carolina student suspended after racist photo slur. And let, let me bring this up so it's a little bigger on the screen there for you. Um, she's writing on the board there, reasons why USC Wi-Fi blows. On the list is incompetent professors, ratchets, overpopulated campus, parking. And the first one on the list, which you can't see, which is blurred out, is, of course, the N-word. Now... I don't understand what parking has to do with the Wi-Fi. Yes! What does... What? How does... Also... Also... Stupid autoplay. And Why? by ratchet, she doesn't mean the tool. No. Well, she kind of does. Why would black people ruin the Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a stretch. I worked in IT for 10 years. Never once did you get a call saying, the Wi-Fi's not working, we must have too many black people in the building. <laughs> what the fuck? What you don't know is that if you get enough black people in the same area, they actually become a giant EMP. Oh, of course. That, that must be it. They're in college. They for fuck's sakes, girl, what is the hell? And and what's baffling me here is this went on social media and became viral, as it always does. Why was she letting someone take her picture? Because she didn't think this was a problem. I'm, I'm just That's, being real. These people don't understand what they're saying is a problem until everybody comes down on them for it. And then they're honest to God confused as to why everybody is coming down on them for it. They honestly don't fucking get it. Which, how could you not? I don't know. Because you watch too much Fox News and you think it's okay. I lived in South Carolina. I grew up in South Carolina. And even I know you don't do that. That's awful. That's, that's... Also makes no sense. Yeah. Like, there's two... This is a two-pronged stupid, because one, <laughs> it's offensive. Two, yes. it makes no goddamn sense. I have no idea in what way you think black people are affecting your Wi-Fi. Or the professors. I have no idea in what way you think parking is affecting your Wi-Fi. <laughs> what do you think Wi-Fi is? Is the question there? Yeah. You're you're in college. What do you think Wi-Fi is? Do you think that that it gets annoyed and stops working? It doesn't do that. Ah. Uh, she's been suspended following the discovery of picture shows a racist slur. School president uh, Harris Pastides confirmed the decision was made by the school Friday night. Um, today, the unfortunate, disappointing act of a student in a study room was has challenged the Carolina community to reflect on our values and tell the world what we believe. Translation. One of the racists done opened their mouth again. Now we have to do something about it. Respect for all is at the heart of the Carolina creed, the code by which we ag agree and abide. Racist and uncivil rhetoric have no place at the University of South Carolina. I'm not so sure about the uncivil rhetoric. You've never been to a USC ball game against Clemson. But that's kind of, that, that is kind of a tradition. In a way, I'm kind of grateful that the racists are getting really mouthy because at least you know which yeah. people you can just not bother with at all. Because it used to be, you know. Because it used to be people hid their racism. And now they're just like, look at my racism. And you can be like, okay, 
Nice, nice knowing you. Bye. Did you, did you ever used to watch V in the eighties? That old show with no the alien invasion. It's like it used to be there were aliens with the rub there were reptile aliens with rubber mask and only occasionally with a little tear in the mask you'd be like, Oh god, you're really a racist under there. Now it's just like they're like <laughs> now they're just like fuck it and they take they don't even care about the we're yeah. Yeah, now they're just walking around with their big old racist lizard heads hanging out. Yeah, we're gonna devour the entire like human race. Mice in front of you and shit. <laughs> but only white mice. Oh, God. But it's kind of nice because you can just be like, okay, now I know I don't have to talk to you anymore. Yeah, it's 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 like they're wearing signs for us these days, which thank you so yeah. much. We have needed this for yeah, so long. Yeah, thank you for that public service, racists. Yeah. Because now I'm not going to waste energy thinking you're a decent human being. <sighs> Let's go to just plain old fashioned stupid that's not quite so infuriating, just plain stupid this comes to us from new zealand um name top 10 top five answers on the board name the things you should not do while driving drink text any form of sex act uh Play the cello. The answer we were looking for in this case was read the newspaper. Also a good one. Masturbate. Yeah, God, well, you guys. Falls under any kind of sex act, I think. Various bus companies slams. There's a welding desk. <sighs> I guess that's that's a good thing not to do while you're driving. Furious bus driver slams bloody irresponsible driver. An Auckland bus driver was filmed reading a newspaper while driving. He's been pulled in by bosses who are furious at his quote stupidity. Why are there quotes around that? Yeah, no, that's actual stupidity. Yeah, that's not stupidity. That's just stupidity. Driver's we caught. Don't need to sugarcoat that shit. The driver was caught on camera flicking through the paper on his early evening bus route by a passenger who filmed him on his smartphone. The bus was moving as the driver read his newspaper, which was spread out over the steering wheel. The bus appeared to stop for a period before setting off again. Video sweeps around the bus before focusing back on the driver, still looking at his paper. Have you never heard of audiobooks? I know it. Well, they don't have the newspaper and audiobook. And they do have these nifty radio stations. Yes. Yeah, where they read the news to you. Or, you know, podcasts that will tell you the news first thing in the morning. Get up, you can download all things considered, and you can go. Yeah. I have an app on my phone that will play me the local news radio station. There's an app for fucking everything. They do the weather and traffic every eight minutes. They do the sports every half hour. Top stories on every 60 and 30. Like, you know, you can get all your information without having to risk killing anybody and losing your job. Lionheart says, hold on a second. I'm reading this article about people who don't pay attention on the road. <laughs> you know, it's bad enough if somebody does this in their own car. And I've seen people do this. Have you ever been in rush hour and you look around People doing all sorts of stupid shit oh, they shouldn't yeah. be doing. There's chicks putting on mascara, and I'm like, not only are you a risk to everybody on the road, you're a risk to your eyeball. Because you hit a fucking pothole, and there's a bristled brush in your eyeball. Don't do that. That's just a mental image, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's like something out of a horror movie. Right but... in the aqueous humor. You don't want that. <laughs> That's not cute. You know a lot about piercing the eyeball. No. <laughs> Try to look innocent. Try to look innocent. Um, but in this case, instead of it just being one person you're responsible for, you have a whole bunch of people. I'm sorry, if you hit a sharp curve in the road near an overpass... Whew, 
that's a problem. And this, you do this for a living. You are ostensibly a professional. You had one job. <laughs> you had, seriously, drive the bus. Drive the bus safely. That was your one job. I know jobs can be boring. But don't put eyeliner on in the car, Lady Disca. It's not safe. No. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Not put on your eyeliner at home. Not safe. Oh, you know, Kmart did not need any more bad press. And I don't actually suppose this is Kmart's fault, but this does say a bunch about the quality of their uh, clientele these days. This comes to us from Caledonia. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, this just... I do like the headline, though. Check out Is It a Toilet, ma'am. 49-year-old racing woman is accused of sneaking behind a cash register and relieving herself in a box of security tags at a local Kmart. Melissa Jacobson is charged with one count of disorderly conduct and two counts of resisting or obstructing an officer. Officers closed the store on Monday after an employee discovered feces and urine in a box containing 200... Sure, number one and number two? Yes, 250 security tags. Criminal complaint alleges surveillance video caught Jacobson loosening her pants behind the register and squatting. Here's the kicker. Employees were able to identify her through paperwork she filed while making a return at the store. Did she use copies of that paperwork to wipe her butt? Oh God! I hope she wiped. Oh God! I hope she wiped. Roll of toilet paper. Oh my God! What? The... Potentially, she had a problem with someone at the store, or this is kind of really didn't want to get out of line. <laughs> Did you hear what happened at Wrigley Field on opening day? No. Wrigley Field recently did a bunch of renovations and their renovated bathrooms could not handle the volume during a fully sold out game. Oh god. The bathrooms all flooded. People were literally peeing in cups and leaving leaving them around Wrigley Field because there were two bathrooms I think in all of Wrigley Field that were functional on opening day. They're installing porta potties. I, I honestly don't think that was the problem this time. No. This this seems to... Although, why... You, never although, mind. I mean, Kmart bathroom, register... Jeez. Potato, potato. Yeah. This is kind of the quintessential definition of disgruntled, I would say. But number two, that's just that's that's just mean. That's some dedication there. Although, who are these people who could poop on command like this? Well, I'm more inclined to think she just really, really had to go and didn't want to bother finding a bathroom or something. But the register in this in the security tent. Wow. No, no, I don't want to find a bathroom. There's a perfectly good box here. How were you <laughs> raised? Where you see a box, I see a bathroom. Different worlds. Respect my culture. No! No, no, no. You go to the potty. Like everyone else did since they Take were two. To the <laughs> You're going to have to run that commercial again. Oh, God, no. Take the poo to the loo. Uh, Maybe I... we'll start needing ads like that here. <laughs> okay, Arista. If I if I fits, I shits? No. 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 No, that's not the rule. No. No. Also, not how you return merchandise. Mm-mm. You may not have enjoyed your sandwich, but they don't yeah, want no. it. They don't want it anymore. No, you don't get to bring that back. <clears throat> and finally tonight, we have, of course, is that a is that a poo light special? No. 
Why do you do that? Because it's my job. Yeah. That's why I'm here. <sighs> We're ending with Florida this week. This is kind, this is kind of spectacular. I think this it's stories like these that really sum up Florida in a nutshell. Something that would seem obvious to you or I in Florida, not so much. Men try to steal honey, get attacked by thirty thousand bees. Oh no. They didn't try to steal honey from the store, did they? No. Three men are recovering in Newport Ritchie, Florida after being attacked by twenty to thirty thousand honeybees on Easter Sunday. All three were taken to the hospital for treatment. According to uh, WTSP News, uh, neighbors called 911 to report the attack. They were covered in bees. Their beards, their hair, their clothes. Bees were everywhere. My God, the bees. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? No, come here. Oh. no not the internet. <laughs> she, oh. Come here, baby. Say hello. I don't want you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. There's a kitty. She's like, what? What are we doing? Am I on? Okay. Yeah. Hi. What, what? am I doing? What, why am I here? She just looks perpetually dazed. It's like, eh. I don't yeah. give a shit. What? Are we going somewhere? I don't know anymore. Is there food over here? Is there? Is there food? Then why am I here? She's got, she's got her priorities, right? Firefighters used a hose to douse the bees so they could tend to the victims. Now, have you ever, do you ever see uh, VHF or UHF Weird Al? No. You, ever see, you get to drink from the fire hose! That scene I have seen, yeah. Yeah. Getting hit with a fire hose is never a pleasant experience. Probably more pleasant than getting hit with 20,000 bees. <laughs> And honeybees don't generally attack. Unless you piss them off. Right. Like, honeybees don't come after you. You gotta do... Oh, oh, boy. Officials have ordered the bees be left alone for 24 hours. A 24-hour rule the bees. <laughs> We're calling a detente. <laughs> we will resume negotiations with the fire. We'll re the bees. We'll resume negotiations with the hive in 24 hours. Uh, who? Okay. It's a beehive. It's full of bees. What? Who looks at that and goes, you know, there's honey in there. We can just walk over and get it. No I'm problem. I'm amazed they only got 50 stings from 20,000 fucking bees. <laughs> well, there were maybe 50 active bees, and the rest of them were like, Get him, Dave! Get him! <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Because, you know, bees, when they sting you, they die. So there's, I'm pretty sure some of those bees were like, Yeah, you go, you go take care yeah. of that guy. Fuck those guys. I, I, he's, yeah. Are you kidding? Right? I think well, there's. I don't know what's happening. I'm deaf. I can't hear. I, I think there are some bees who, when in this situation, look at their friend and go, "Hey, he said you were an asshole." <laughs> no, really. He he totally he, he called your he called the queen a bitch. Go, <laughs> mother. Twenty thirty thousand. At that point, that's just one of those moments in life where you sit there. You're just Nicholas Cage. That is, that's the epitome of. I've made a terrible mistake. Yeah. It all just comes crashing down on you where I probably should have thought this through just a wee bit more. That's some horror movie shit right there, man. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever seen a swarm of bees before and you know, going at some, you've probably maybe seen a hundred bees or so. Yeah. You can't conceive. Okay. Bees are completely covering them. 
I would You're be, just made of bees. I would be freaking the fuck out. Of course, I, in the first place, would have been like, you know what? Let's leave the fucking bees alone. Yeah, let's not touch the 20,000 bees. It's their that honey. seems like a fun idea. Oh! She just jumped in her box. Let me see if I can show you. Now we gotta rub on the box. That's really important. Box. Th but... You know, the, you know, people on the channel are going Winnie the Pooh. No! Even Winnie the Pooh would go, fuck that. Yeah, no. Winnie the Pooh would actually come out and say, oh, fuck that. No! Fuck a whole bowl of that bullshit. 30,000... Oh, my God. Leave... You realize you could get honey from the store for $2! Two dollars. Bring Bridget back. Don't. That's not nice. I don't live with Bridget anymore. You'll hurt her feelings. Okay. Well, she can't hear them, so she might be able to read. I don't know. That is true. They didn't mean that, baby. They love you. You know, here, here's the thing. I posted something the other day. They make music for cats now. And I was about to send it to you, and then I went, oh. It'd be kind of wasted oh, on her. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And the thing is, when I can't find her, I still walk around calling her. And then I realize what an asshole I am. Because I'm like, hey, Miracle, where are you? Where are you hiding? You can't hear me. It's the first thing we've learned tonight is something we all most should have learned as children but apparently did not leave the bees alone yeah don't touch the bees just leave they're not hurting you no they're... just go buy some honey at the store that's what it's actually like. those beekeepers <clears throat> will probably sell you honey yes for cheaper than the store make it and put it in jars and they will sell it to you Leave the bees alone. I, what what is worth more, two dollars or thirty thousand bee sting? Well, I'm pretty yeah. I'm pretty sure the medical costs are going to wind up more than a jar of honey would have cost you. We've learned if you're in public and you must relieve yourself, find a bathroom, not find a, a proper box. receptacle. For yes. your excrement. Yes. Although there is, uh, I don't know if you saw that viral video a while back where they made this uh, this paint that can repel liquid. It's it, it no. like it like completely repels off any surface that once the they mix it properly and the paint dries, it looks just like normal, but liquid bounces off of it like it was. Like, like it's like it's one of those resistant. It doesn't soak in or anything. It just like turns cool. into little droplets. Well, there's been a town in the UK who started painting their walls with this stuff. So that when you pee on it, it bounces back at you. <laughs> I thought, it's a nice solution. They just call that karmic paint. Hydrophobic paint, yes, that's what it is. Yeah, it should be called karmic paint. <clears throat> We've learned, if your job is to drive the bus, drive the fucking bus. And buy an iPod. Yeah. Or, you know, that bus is probably equipped with a radio. Yes. We've learned that now racists are polite enough, or at least, I think, thoughtful enough to tell us that they are racist. So we don't have yes. to wonder anymore. They'll just come Which right Which is lovely. Out. So we don't have to talk to them as though they're people. Truly. An age of miracles and wonders. Um... We've learned your need for sex does not overrule another person's need to live. Ever. No. And also, of all the places to, to, to need to fuck, the box with the, with the flashing lights and the horn on it doesn't seem like the most romantic of settings. I mean, Is that the siren going? 
No, he just he wrong hole, man. Wrong hole. Um. <laughs> well. And finally, we learned that even on Easter, what you consider a day normally of celebration, even on Easter, some motherfucker's gonna run around screaming naked with a stick. No day is too special for a naked rampage. It's gonna be on my headstone, isn't it? Yeah. 